next guest, very talented comedian, his new comedy special, A Big Steaming Pile of Me, premieres <laughs> Saturday, January 15th at 10 o'clock at HBO. Great title. Please welcome Richard Jenny. <laughs> You're in a good mood, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I knew it would be. Thursday night, the crowd is always good, because they're thinking, you know what? Even if you suck, we still have the weekend. <laughs> so, I know, I was watching backstage, you're thinking, this crowd is so good. This is like the second easiest job in the world, making you happy. First easiest, whoever gets to put Michael Jackson in the witness chair and create reasonable doubt. <laughs> How hard can that be? I don't even have a law degree, and I think I would just go, if I had the jury there, I'd go, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there he is. That's all I have. Y'all get a good look at him, see if you think he's capable of anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> yeah, but I don't think that Michael Jackson case is ever coming to court, you know what I mean? It won't, because everybody is entitled to a jury of their peers. <laughs> There he is. Where are they gonna find that? You could run the vacuum up and down the gene pool 24-7 without sucking up this much of whatever that is. He has no peers. So why, thanks. So why, why am I picking on poor little mutated Michael Jackson, you're wondering? Because Michael Jackson is a cautionary tale for the rest of us, folks. Michael Jackson is what happens when you keep fixing it till it's broke. <laughs> That's what you get. And we're used to him now. You know, we've been looking at Michael Jackson for a long time, but if you'd never seen him before, and he just kind of jumped out at you, <laughs> it would be quite a start. <laughs> like, let's say, you know, you're out playing golf. You knock your ball in the woods, you know, you're... A little creeped out, you got your golf club, it's overcast. All of a sudden, something that looks like that comes swinging out, hee 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 hee. Would you ask for his autograph? I would pummel him with a nine iron till he stopped moving. If I was in the woods, where the heck is hee hee? What the? <laughs> Come here, look at this. It just came out from those trees. Oh my God, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Half man, half woman. <laughs> half black, half white. And it was walking backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, it's always good to start off with a little Michael Jackson humor. You know why? I like to have about two, three minutes of show where somebody isn't pissed off at me. Michael Jackson is the only thing you can make fun of without somebody getting mad, because everybody agrees with you. Nobody gets up, right? Nobody gets up in the audience, you wait a minute, mister. You'll be keeping your dirty mouth off the king of pop. A man is innocent of child molestation until he's proven guilty. And any man who says different will be dealing with me. Father Murphy of the Boston Archdiocese. And that concludes our not making anybody mad portion. As <laughs> Soon as you get away from Michael Jackson, people get mad. Little things, gay marriage, gay marriage. Oh, gay marriage, gay people are getting married. Oh my God, well, whatever. <laughs> Do it, gay people. Be the gay man you were born to be. <laughs> yeah. He was, yeah. He was born gay, you know. Not the second he was born, that's a little extreme. You know, he didn't come out of the womb Broadway style. That didn't happen. <laughs> it was, it wasn't like that like that in the operating room going, breathe, Mrs. Johnson, three, four, five, and he went, six, seven, eight. Hi, everybody. Nice to be here. My name's Baby. What's yours? I just came out of the vagina, and I'm never going back in. Couldn't do that. Thank you very much, Chris. <laughs>